no, you don't have to be rich. And in my case, as a single mom, I actually hired a cleaning service so that I could save money. And sorry for this dramatic ass crow in my background, but hopefully you can hear this message. And I'm gonna say it again. As a single mother, I hired a cleaning service to save money. Let me explain. You're probably thinking right now, like how does paying for something that you can do for free save you money? And the answer is doing it yourself is not free. Let's do some girl math. Let's say you started a side hustle, okay? And if you need help with starting one, there's a list in my bio called 50 Side Hustles for Mom Who Want to Work from Home. Let's say with this side hustle, you start making $5,000 a week. And I've totally been doing this with my drop servicing business. There's a video about drop servicing in this link right here. So let's say to make that $5,000 a week, you work a total of 40 hours in that week. You have a 40 hour work week. That's not really my experience, but let's just keep things simple. So if you divide $5,000 by 40, you get $125 an hour. Your hourly wage is $125 an hour. If you consider that it takes anywhere from like four to six hours to clean an entire 3,500 square foot home from top to bottom, not including the laundry. If you're like me, you hate folding and putting away laundry. If you do that math at minimum at $125 an hour, which is what your time is worth, it will cost you $500 to clean your own house. If you pay somebody else to do it and they charge you $200, then you just saved yourself $300. And you also saved yourself that four to six hours, which you can use to reinvest it back into your business and make more money. Or you can spend that time taking care of, having fun with, and educating your children, if you have any. Now, at the beginning of this video, I said this was girl math, but in actuality, this is man math because this is what they've been doing to you for the last, I don't know, umpteen centuries. You and the majority of all women have been providing free labor in their household so that the men can go out and do paid labor. It's all labor, it's all work, but only one of you is getting paid for their time. So no, you don't have to be rich to hire a maid. They're actually pretty affordable. If you start looking around at how much money you spend on maybe hair, nails, or you can cut back on a few things, or, or even you know have a little savings for just a little bit of help around your house, you'll see that with that time that you win back, you can actually make more money. And it'll blow your mind how once you get systems and processes set up in a business or a side hustle, how little you actually have to work to have that money coming in passively. If you want more content like this, hit that follow button and leave a comment.